Hey, just a quick impromptu video for Super Rusty's uh, bid to get to 1k uh, subs. It's uh, well overdue, so you know he's been trying to get there for a while, and he deserves it because you know he does good content. Like good, and at the moment he's doing a series of short videos where he just comes in and does like a quick, like either a random read or a random pick or or opening a box. You know, just like every day, like I was doing with my with my blogs uh, a while back, my bloggy blogs. It's kind of making. I watch these videos. It's kind of making me wish I was still doing a bloggy blog. Or maybe doing like a video a day with like a something short like that, like what he's doing, mate. But I think, to be honest, the reason I'm doing it like so impromptu now is because I've been right lazy recently, and I've been saying to myself, "Oh yeah, I must do that. I must put Russ with his uh, with his one K challenge." I mean, it's just like, oh yeah, just so I'm just gonna literally I'm not even thinking about what I'm gonna say. I've not got any comic books ready. Uh, I'm not even sure what the blinking subject is. I've, I've seen a couple of people doing it. I think basically you got to say what got you on your geeky journey kind of thing. Um, I can't bother to dig out the books because I'm a lazy sod. But um, I've always read, always loved reading. Uh, I don't remember a time when I couldn't read. Um, obviously, there was a time I couldn't read, but I don't remember it because <laughs> I always used to read like frantically and phonetic and uh, uh, yeah, phonetically and frenetically. Is that even right? I don't know, but lots uh, copious amounts of reading I used to do when I was younger. Um, not so much now. I don't read books as much. For some reason, I just stopped reading books a little while back. But I'm trying to get back in it now with doing. Um, with Matilda, the uh, Isle of the Dark, and various other read-alongs. After Isle of the Dark, we're going to move on to doing some Cthulhu read-alongs. Uh, you know, H.P. Lovecraft Mythos uh, read-alongs. So that's going to be quite cool. I'm looking forward to that, actually. Um... I don't know why I didn't think about doing that kind of thing before. So, yeah, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so I think Russ wants, yeah, Russ wants to know how you got started. So, yeah, so like I say, I never know, never remember not reading. And I always used to read a load of old British uh, comics uh, back in the day, like weekly comics. We had so many weekly comics back when we were kids. And, um, you know, I, re I read a fair few of them. And I used to, we used to get annuals every year as well. And uh, my dad, when I used to go and visit him, he uh, he'd have a couple of comics that he'd got that he ordered from the uh, local news agents, and that would be like Wizard and Chips 2000 AD, Nutty that had a character called Banana Man in it, uh, Cheeky Weekly. I'm just putting it on there so I haven't got to hold on to it. Uh, I'm kind of getting into the video now. <laughs> I was just going to throw it out randomly. But this is a, this is an example. Right, I've sold all those comics though. But I did re well a while back buy a batch. And I've not even bloody well read them. But I'll show them to you anyway what I bought. But so you can get an idea of the old style comics that we used to have. So, crazy. <laughs> I was going to show you all the ones that are in here actually. I haven't read these. Another crazy comic. This is a, there's a character in here called... Um, there's a well, the crazy gang. You can see them there at the bottom. The crazy gang, and one of the guys there, the guy with the big teeth, cheeky. He ended up having a comic called Cheeky Weekly, which I got quite a few of. I've actually got, if I remember, <laughs> this is an old glove puppet I used to have as a kid. Well, I still got it, <laughs> and I got a free, I got a Cheeky Weekly badge, uh, and I've, it's been stuck on there ever since. So. Uh, Friend of Cheeky, it says. <laughs> uh, most of these, they wouldn't have like superheroes. They quite often have a jokey superhero kind of ca character in them. So it'd be like uh, the the no, there was a twelve and a half p bitonic man or bitonic boy rather, who was a parody of the the million dollar man. <laughs> he bought a tonic and drunk it, and it, and it gave him all these superpowers. There was a guy called Billy Weez who was kind of like the Flash, um, but he wasn't really doing superhero stuff. Just just. Quick. And it was uh, oh, and it was all Banana Man. I mentioned already. He was uh, he was the lead character in Nutty. Um, he was just a really rubbish superhero. <laughs> there was another one. I think it was Hawkman and yeah, something like that. It wasn't a Hawkman, but it was something like that. God, I can't remember after. And there was a, a Leopard Boy in one comic as well, the Leopard of Lime Street. I think that was called. And he was quite a cool character, pretty well drawn. Right, here's Beza. But most of these are like humor humor comics. Uh, but they're not really superhero related. But I always, like, I always there were also reprints, superhero reprints of in you know UK comics. I've got some of those. I'm not sure if I've still got the ones that I had when I was a kid. I've got like a box upstairs of various uh, comics. Uh, let's just go through these. Sparky. <laughs> they all got kind of quirky names like that. You got a couple of the Sparky pull out there. Uh, right, here's Plug. Here's another one. He he again. He came from another comic book. Um, I think he was from the Beano, the Bash Street Kids in the Beano, and uh, there is a, 
rather ugly little fellow called Plug, and he had his own comic for a while. <laughs> it was quite cool, actually. I think Plug was my brother's comic, and I, I'd read them. So we, my brother would get two comics, and I'd get two comics, and we'd sort of like read each other's comics afterwards. Uh, and most of these are sold now. These are just some ones that I bought, actually, just on a, when I was on a... And this is quite good. I never actually owned this back in the day, but I, this is number one of Cheeky Weekly. I never owned this before. <laughs> so number one of Cheeky Weekly. Uh, and there's a wizard in chips. That would often happen as well. The two comics would would team up, like uh, one would take over the other comic book kind of thing. It started, but yeah, that was just. I suppose to do with sales, if they weren't getting enough sales, they'd merge with each other, and like the good, the the, the best characters from each book would like carry on in in the comic kind of thing. Like Wizard and Chips. But Wizard and Chips was different. It was it never like it merged with our comic books, but it still became Wizard and Chips after a while. It's hard to explain. I can't bother going into great depth anyway. Right, and as a kid, I remember watching the um, the Batman TV show. Of course, the Batman TV show was cool. Uh, Wonder Woman. I remember watching Wonder Woman. Uh, but I don't think I ever bought any Wonder Woman. I didn't really buy any Wonder Woman comics. But uh, also. Other comics that I I got back in the day, I remember. I know these are all gone, so I kind of wonder how many comic books I've lost. Actually, I, I reckon I must have had loads more comic books because um, I know that I definitely had. Um, I had a run of um, Doctor Who Weekly from the beginning, and I remember the story still pretty well. But I, I, we, had, we had a move when I was about ten years old. We moved from Leighton, just down the road, to Leightonstone, where I live now, and somehow those comics must have got lost in in the in the lot in the move. Really annoying, actually. I wish I still had those. And I wonder if I lost any other comic books at that time as well. Um, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, and I never used to have much pocket money. Um, so I do have some some comics from like when I was a kid. Because every now and again I get some pocket money. But I never like bought a regular batch of, of superhero comics. Even though I love superhero comics. I had like a few... Uh, reprints and annuals and um, every now and again I'd get some pocket money when I was visiting my dad and I'd go around the corner and, and buy like a some of my older comics are like as an old I've got an old couple of old flash comics from about 79 when I was about nine or ten uh, I've got a, some brave and a bold from around that region as well uh, I can't bother to show I've shown them before another comic book this is mainly about just getting you to go and sub up Russ not about showing you comic books. And yeah, basically, because I was watching Russ chatting to Simple Simon while Simon putting his comics away, and I thought, if I don't bloody well just do a video just straight off the cuff, I'm going to be too lazy and not get around to it. So yeah, this is me getting around to it. This is me telling you to go and sub up Russ. Uh, I think I've done the right thing that needed to be done to enter the contest. I've spoken about what got me into collecting. Um, yeah, but that's it really. I'm not... Comic books is what I collect. I don't, I've got some heavy metal records as well, but, uh, you know, I don't buy them anymore. So comics is definitely my uh, my collecting goals and what I do collecting-wise. Uh, yeah, hopefully that's enough. That's a long enough bloody video anyway. Just go and sub up Rust if you're not subbed to him already. That's basically, that's basically it. And, uh, yeah, until next time, have a great amazing day, and may all your news be good news.